The new Pokemon Go Plus Plus is live now and it's time to go pick mine up. Let's go get it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. It's time to head out there and try this out. Here it is, go ahead and unbox this thing. I'm not gonna lie, I totally forgot I pre-ordered this. It was 60 USD, so 60 bucks, which is not cheap, but honestly, I think it's gonna be super worth it and we'll talk about why today. Here it is, the all new Pokemon Go Plus Plus in hand. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. First things first that I noticed, it has a wire, it has a charger. If you guys remember with the old Pokemon Go Plus, you had to get replaceable batteries every single time that it died and it was very, very inconvenient. Now we can just charge it. This is a USB-C charger as well, so very cool. And of course, the moment we've all been waiting for for the Pokemon Go Plus Plus unboxed and revealed. Here it is, this is huge. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little too big to be honest, but if it's right in the palm of your hand, you can hold it and click it up all day, nice. It's definitely gonna be easier to keep track of because a lot of people had problems losing the old one, it was like this small. But now that we have it unboxed, let's go ahead and connect it to Pokemon Go right now. Here we go, in our settings, going to connected devices, accessory devices, and if this opens, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and click this nice big button right on the front, hopefully this is charged, yes it is. Here is the Pokemon Go plus plus not paired and bada bing bada boom as simple as that it's gonna vibrate in my hand and I think we're good to go finalize the pairing the indicator light in your Pokemon blah 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 I think I have to click it again I clicked it one more time and it failed to connect great <laughs> not a good start at all let's try this one more time so click the button right click on the thing reconnecting and ladies and gentlemen I need to press the main button and the top button at the same time I just did that hopefully that works and you hear that Pikachu Pikachu we're good it is absolutely vibrating vibrating the heck off in my hand right now. Earn rewards for tracking your sleep, which we're gonna talk about today. Uh, I'm gonna say okay for now. A big part of this device is to help track your sleep and sleep is obviously very important, but we're gonna talk about that later. Let's go ahead and skip through all of this. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna make my reward time 11 a.m. I guess for now, whatever. Bada bing, bada boom, let's skip through all this. We're connected. As you can see, the green light is on and all I gotta do is click a button and we have a Mareep right here. I'm gonna click this button and bada bing, bada boom. One, two. Three, I think we're good, right? Yes, sir. Bada bing, bada boom. Mareep goes down, it's caught. Next up is the drill bar, we're gonna click it. But I'm gonna stop there. We know how this works. We know how the Pokeball works. I care about the other balls. Pause. I want this to use great balls right now because great balls obviously have a higher chance. So let's try it out with great balls. We're not gonna be able to tell. Actually, yeah, we will. Let's try catching this Growlithe right here. And it looks like that one ran away. Okay, bad start. How about Delcaddy? Probably a bit of a tougher spawn to be honest. One, two, Three and we got it. Okay, so let's head over to that Del Caddy and scroll down. As you can see, we caught it using our Great Ball. And as you can see with the Drill Bird and the Mareep, we caught them using the Pokeball. So this is pretty awesome. Now, once it's been a Poke Stop, I can go ahead and click that button. But the clicking is going to get a little bit annoying. I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and enable Poke Stop Auto Spin and Poke Ball Auto Throw. So it's going to automatically spin stops and catch Pokemon without me having to do anything at all. So now it's all connected. And I want to see this thing in action. And also, because we connected it, I'm pretty sure we earned a little something something. I'm Pretty sure we unlocked the brand new special research that comes with the Pokemon Go Plus Plus when you activate it and connect it for the first time. So just like that, we're gonna skip through all this and get to it. There it is, the Catching Some Z special research. I felt so much FOMO not having this, so I'm really happy I have it now because it's got some crazy rewards. So first things first, we gotta catch 20 Pokemon with the Pokeball, and we gotta catch 10 Pokemon with the Great Ball, and spin 15 stops, and track my sleep for seven days. So obviously we're not gonna be able to move on for about a week, and that's if and only if I remember to track my sleep, which I'll talk about later, I guess. But we get some goodies on this stage, but what I care about most is at the end of this research, you get, I think, four or five encounters with an exclusive Snorlax that is not available any other way. It's the Nightcap Snorlax, which is shiny eligible. And if I can get that shiny, that is easily one of the rarest shinies in the game. And I feel like they've been dropping a lot of exclusive shinies, and I don't see a lot of these coming back, so I gotta get this one. But there we have it. We officially have the Pokemon Go Plus Plus, and we're gonna be testing it out today. Well, let's quickly talk about the sleep aspect of the Go Plus Plus. Also, the name Pokemon Go Plus Plus, worst thing ever, right? They couldn't have thought of something else or changed it up a little bit. Anyways, you can share your sleep data with Pokemon Go, and it seems like every time you go to bed, you click your Pokemon Go Plus Plus, let it know you're going to sleep, and every time you wake up, you click the button again. So it tracks how many hours you sleep, when you go to bed, when you wake up, etc. Now I gotta do that seven days. I don't think it has to be in a row, but I gotta do that for seven days, and then we can move on and complete that task. After those seven days, I don't think I'll ever, ever do that again, unless they ask me to, but I'm excited to get that done, I guess. I just hope I remember. I will say I'm excited to see what the first rare Pokemon I'm gonna get on my Go Plus Plus 
this is the first shiny I'm gonna get. See if I can get a Galarian bird. I'll be using it for the entire adventure today. We're gonna pop our daily incense. We're gonna see what we get. Moving forward, I'm always gonna have it throwing Ultra Balls because I don't wanna miss out on any Pokemon. That gives me the best chance to catch any Pokemon I run into. But for today's sake, and also for the sake of research, we're gonna start off by using Pokeballs today, and we're gonna manually catch all of our Pokemon on our daily incense right now. The Go Plus Plus is connected. Let's go ahead and pop our Lucky Egg. Let's go ahead and pop our Star Piece. Uh, and now we're gonna pop our daily incense using the Go Plus Plus. I just don't know what hand I'm gonna use to click the button. This is gonna be a little difficult. I need, I need a third hand here, but uh, let's turn on the incense. And I guess I don't need a throwing hand here, but here we go, our first catch. Okay, you know, here we go. We have a sand shrew on the incense. Let's go ahead and use our Pokeball and we lose it. I hope we don't run into anything crazy today. I think if I run into a bird, I'll probably just, ooh. You know what, for the sake of the video, for the sake of it being our first adventure with the Go Plus Plus, I'll use it, I'll use it. Okay, we have a Swirlix spawn here, but my Go Plus is not going for it, so, and it ran away, okay. I guess that's a little bit of an issue. Uh, you can't really pick what you want it to focus on. Like, I kinda wish there was a button where you can skip whatever it's trying to do. Like, right now, maybe I don't want it to spin a Pokestop, maybe I want it to get to the next thing. So right here, we're trying to cast a Swellow, and it runs away. Now we're gonna go ahead and spin a Stop. Might be a rough day one, to be honest. Also, it's not the greatest with the incense. It's just a little bit awkward because the incense spawn actually go to the Go++ Plus Plus before they even pop up on the screen. And sometimes the indicator doesn't show that it's trying to catch the incense spawn. There's a little couple things they need to clean up, but sometimes it works. Like right here, we got a Bunnel B, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. And we catch our first Pokemon on the Daily Incense, I think, with our Go++. Plus Plus. And here we go, our first Legendary on the Daily Incense. We have a Legendary Bidoof. Let's see if we can take it down. One, two, three, and runs away. All right, this has been a little bit rough so far, but I'm not giving up hope yet, you know? And here we go, we got a wild gulp in on the Go++. Plus Plus. Let's see if we can make something happen here. One, two, nope, okay. This has not been, uh, <laughs> this has not been optimal. What we're gonna find out by the end of our adventure though is seeing how useful this Go++ Plus Plus is, if it's worth the money. I will say at the end of the week, we're gonna have a way more credible answer with some uh, use and experience if this is really, really worth it. But what I will say off the rip is we have a Swamp Blue right here, and come on, please, Go++. Plus Plus Plus, thank you. I've been using the auto catchers for years now. Okay, we got a two kilometer egg out of nowhere. I've been using the auto catchers for years and they're incredibly worth it. As long as you don't break it, Wimplot, as long as you don't break it or lose it, it's awesome. Oh my gosh, check that out. We got a Drapion on the incense, our first rare, rare spawn. Let's see if we can hurry up with this fan fee and get to the Drapion. Please, thank you very much. Come on, one, two, three. Got him! Our first rare spawn is a Drapion, and we catch it on the incense, I think. Gonna have to double check later. That's a good start. That's a promising catch right there. I'm not mad. And our next spawn is a Deerling. All right. But I've caught thousands and thousands of Pokemon with these, and they're incredible. The way I see it, there's a lot of Pokemon that you wouldn't be catching otherwise, and this gives you an opportunity to do so. Like, for example, when you're driving, you obviously don't want to be playing Pokemon Go and driving at the same time, and that's when the Go++ Plus Plus is amazing, because you're not gonna be playing and driving, but you can have it on, and it'll be auto-catching whatever pops up as we have a uh, what is that a tail right there all right so with that example it's like you don't play at all or you use your go plus plus and you still are able to play some pokemon go catch some pokemon and i've caught some incredible pokemon on the go plus by the way some of my best catches in all of my years have been on the go plus plus shinies hundos rare pokemon i've seen it all and here's another rare spawn we got a beautiful fly and <laughs> it runs away don't forget that we are only using the pokeball option right now if we had a great ball or an ultra ball we'd probably be catching a lot more of these i'm just only going to use the pokeball today to give you guys an idea of what that's like. Luckily for me, I have a good amount of bag storage and I've been saving great in Ultra Balls for months and months now. So now that I have all of them stocked up, I'm gonna be using a ton. In terms of the price, yes, $60 is kind of a hefty amount for something to use. But uh, if you think about all the money we spent on remote raids and incubators and all that, 60 bucks isn't too bad, huh? Oh my gosh, a Flygon on the incense. I've never got a Flygon. Wait, is my GoPlus gonna get to it? Okay, God, I wish I can switch it up right now, but we're gonna use a Pokeball. Ladies and gentlemen, a super rare spawn on one, two, three, no, Flygon runs away. Oh, that hurts, that hurts. We lose a wild Flygon, no. Got really unlucky right there with that. Got really <laughs> unlucky, but we tried. I would have loved to manually catch that one, but that was not in the cards for us. What is that? Aluminion. 
Speaking of rare spawns, how about it if my GoBlast ever gets to it? Come on, Luminion, go, go to the Luminion. It's trying to catch everything else. And the Luminion runs away. Okay, so again, a uh, part of it that I don't like is that you can't really choose what you're doing. Uh, here we go, a legendary Bidoof. The spawns are off the chain right now. Dude, Drapion, Flygon, Luminion. Uh, what, what, oh my gosh. But let's talk about the negative side of the Go Plus. Uh, I, I think the price is one thing that could be a little bit lower, but it's fine. I think it's worth it, I'll do it. Especially now that they've upgraded it after seven years and they didn't really increase the price in a crazy way, which I thought they would. There's now an auto catch and auto spin feature. We don't have to click it every single time, right? So that's super convenient. And now we can also use great balls and ultra balls which is honestly such a game changer <laughs> and check it out our third legendary Bidoof spawn of the incense maybe this will be good enough to catch one two Oh my gosh. I feel like every time I bring it up I'd lose the Pokemon so let me stop doing that. All right we got a seal on the incense ladies and gentlemen one two three and it worked that time okay what did i just click i think i just clicked something on the incense but it never popped up on my screen so i just caught something I'm also tracking a wild shift tree right now so we're gonna head over towards that but we have a slugma spawn go plus you awake there it is go plus one two three oh my gosh i hate that it even gets to three and like cancels you know or fails i should say i feel like if it gets to three it should be a catch just like a spin right there's a lot of legendary badoofs out today though i'll say that much i don't know why but okay but that'll do it for our first ever daily incense using the pokemon go plus plus nine pokemon bunnelby swablu drapion war turtle i didn't see that one sandshrew legendary badoof yanma seal and zigzagoon but let's check through our journal let's check through our recents and see what we missed and see what we didn't so taking a look at our journal we had a lone Bray in here, uh, Mareep, War Turtle, Solus's Magikarp, uh, we lost a Taylor, we lost a Legendary Bidoof, which was rough, a Skitty, a Bunnelby, a Trico, a Beautifly, uh, a Quillfish, a Gra oh my gosh, that was such a dry spell. We lost a lot right there. We lost a Flygon, it was only 490 CP, but we lost a Flygon, which is real tough. I don't think I've ever seen that before on an incense, so that sucked. The Luminion ran away. I guess we did get a chance, but we missed it. Um, caught a couple Bidoofs right there. We saw a couple for sure. Woobat, another Bidoof, uh, some other good spawns right there. I also didn't know that you can check your summary again in your journal that's new for me and uh yeah it's been kind of rough well i can't say that some of that was really cool but some of it wasn't uh wasn't so cool but you know we were only using pokeballs again if we were using ultra balls or great balls i think it would have been a lot better now there's no telling what was an incense spawn and what wasn't i wish they updated the incense in that aspect i think maybe show all the pokemon that spawned and like maybe like make them silhouettes or cross them out if you didn't actually catch them but that's a whole nother conversation for another time let's go ahead and at least iv check right here maybe today's the day that i actually get a home oh my gosh look at these good iv pokemon right here Maybe today's the day that I get a hundo on my daily incense. We'll have to find that out right now. There were some cool spawns though. It's a good uh, PvP IVs on Sandshrew. Some cool spawns throughout the day. The Drapion, the Beautifly, the Flygon, the Luminion. A lot of Eons and Ions right there, dude. So pretty solid first day. And I think in every adventure moving forward, we're going to try it with Great Balls, with Ultra Balls and whatnot. But I'm pretty happy with how that went. Oh, wow. Good PvP Tauros for whatever that's worth, if that's even worth anything. I don't even know when the daily incense stopped. What was our last... Okay, whatever. Growlithe is our last catch for now. Didn't get any shinies in there. No good IVs. Some rare catches for sure, but uh, nothing too crazy for our first one ever. That was very cool for our first experience, though. I think I'm going to try one more daily incense with only Pokeballs just to see how it goes. Just for a fun little challenge. And then after that, we'll try hard and we'll only use Ultra Balls from here on out. But anyways, a quick checkup on the research. We have done some of it. We have to catch some more Pokemon with Great Balls, which is easy. And then obviously track our sleep, which we'll do tonight. And then we'll get some goodies out of that. But oh, you know what? While we're done, let's go ahead and turn this thing off. Now that our little challenge is over with for today, let's turn on uh, Great Balls for, for the research portion. And then we'll get to... Oh, I already had it on Ultra Balls. Look at me. Let's just put it on Great Balls to get the research done. And once that's done, we'll go straight to Ultra Balls and uh, never change it back. Oh, and I totally missed this piece of news. And I got to talk about it because honestly, I haven't even read about it. Adventure Week got announced. It starts on july 27th and ends on august 2nd we love this event and they made it really short which sucks but whatever i will say it's gonna be amazing though so wild encounters Omni kabuto aerodactyl the leap anorith cranidos shield on tortuga arc and tyrant and amora every single one of those spawns are incredible they can all be shiny they're all really rare and i cannot wait but if you noticed on the last two tyrant and amora are dropping their shinies and they are elite i would i would love 
love, love to get a Tyrant. That's gonna be at the top of my list for shinies I need in Pokemon Go. That and Hoot Hoot, I need those right now. So incredibly dope Pokemon, and we're gonna talk more about them in a sec. Five star raids, Reggie Drago's coming back, who cares? A Mega Tyranitar is coming, making its debut. It's gonna be one of the most useful Pokemon in this entire game, so make sure you guys have a good Tyranitar. Make sure you get the energy, because Mega Tyranitar is probably gonna be everywhere. Like, everyone's gonna use it all the time. Field Research Task Encounters will give out Amistar, Kabutops, Cradley, Armaldo, but more importantly, Tyrant and Amora, more opportunities for that. There's gonna be a time research with a path that's gonna help you get some more encounters and goodies. There's gonna be a paid time research, which I'm also gonna do, and that's gonna get you incubators and encounters with some more Pokemon. Event bonuses, two times XP for spinning Pokestop, five times XP for spinning a new Pokestop. So if you wanna go explore some new areas, this is your time to do it. There are some crazy, crazy XP gains to be had during this event. I know people love doing like the seven day streak uh, and then throwing like a lucky egg on and then spinning a new stop on your seven day and making that your 10th stop in a row or something like that. You can get some crazy XP. And there's gonna be a collection challenge to earn Tyrant and Nomura. And they're gonna be in seven kilometer eggs with Tortuga and Arkin. And trainers will find a colorful surprise if they look to the skies during Adventure Week. So there's gonna be those really, really cool skies like we saw last year during Adventure Week, which looked so gosh darn epic. Speaking of which, I feel like they need to do that a little bit more often. It hasn't happened really since Halloween and Christmas, right? I don't know. There might be an event or two I'm forgetting, but I feel like they need to do that more often because I love it. But yes, shiny Tyrant, shiny Amora, incredible shiny families, incredible shinies to get. You got five days to maximize your chances of getting them. After that, really gonna be behind an egg wall and maybe some potential research and raids in the future. But oh yeah, they're also gonna be spawning during GoFest too, right? In, in New York, or maybe all of them, or the global one, I don't know. But that is going to be absolutely incredible. And this is gonna be probably one of my favorite events of the year, I'm gonna be honest. Apologies for being a little bit late with that news. I was traveling, I'm back home now. So we're chilling until GoFest Japan, which is happening in just about two-ish weeks. So that's gonna be absolutely insane. But I'm back home for a little bit. It's time to grind. It's time to use the brand new Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Hopefully you guys enjoyed how it how it looked, how it went today. Definitely was exciting. We had a lot of opportunities there and I can't wait to use it for the next couple of days and really get a feel for it. Let me know in the comments if you guys will be copying the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. I will tell you right now, it's hard to get. It's available on Amazon, Best Buy, all that stuff, but it's probably out of stock. And to pay resale, it's gonna be a little bit more than 60 bucks. So good luck out there trying to get it. If you guys have any good ideas on how to obtain one, comment below and help some people out because I know it's gonna be something that people wanna get. But Pokemon Go will never be the same. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. This is a game changing addition to my career, to be honest. It's gonna be awesome. A lot more cool catches I think we're gonna see. So uh, cheers to those catches. Hopefully they come soon.